All right, today we're gonna take a look at the Shox OpenCom UC and the Shox Open Run Pro. I bought both of these with my own money for my own personal use. I did pick a winner. We'll watch the video, I'll tell you who. Which one's better for my personal use case. There's kind of a clear winner, but it's also not as big a delta as you would think. So, all right, let's check them out. All right, today we have the Shox OpenCom UC. These are bone conduction headphones with the microphone. But more importantly, it has a USB adapter. You can get it with the USB-C or USB-A. It's odd they don't just sell the adapter in the box, but we order you to choose either A or C. I just chose A because I have a bunch of USB-A to C adapters, and I'm gonna be using it with a desktop computer anyhow. I've actually never used the actual Shox brand. I had a couple other, you know, off-brand ones I tried, and they were okay. But this is the real deal. I think like the main major player in the bone conducting market. Boom! So everything's in a case. Got ourselves a little user guide and some safety instructions. So mostly paperwork you're not gonna deal with. We'll keep the user guide out for a second. So that's a part of why I chose these is I do like things that come in their own little pouch. This seems to be a nice one. It's kind of hard shell there. Inside the pouch, we have just a little card with your serial number on it to help you register the product. In here, is the charging cable. So I like and don't like this. It is proprietary, of course, but it is a magnetic charger, so it just kind of clamps on there, which I do like that. But of course, if you have a problem, you'll have to buy a new one. Here's the actual headphones themselves. So I have a big hand, but these are smaller than I thought they would be. And I do like how the case is kind of contoured to allow them, and that's soft but hard at the same point, like it's a fabric thing, but it's, it's kind of like a foam shell, essentially. And then it will hold your USB guy there and the USB does have like a little button on the back that depresses. So basically these guys go over your ear. This guy just sits on your temple essentially. On the back of the right side is where the wireless charger is. It's magnetized essentially. I would thought it'd go like this, but it doesn't. It goes like this. It only lets you go one way apparently. Fucking magnets, how do they work? And so it's a good magnet, right? It'll hold it. And then over here we have a plus and minus button. That's your volume, a little blue light there. NFC logo on the other side. And here's the microphone. There's not a detent, it just kind of slides around. I thought it would snap in the places but it doesn't it just kind of slides no it can't go full 3d it only goes down 360 it can't it only stops it stops here but you can take it back all the way here so yeah it can't do a full 360 it snaps back into place it doesn't really you can't really bend it you can bend it so it doesn't break but it doesn't like it's not a wire that sticks like i can't stick it out here and it stays it'll snap back there's like a little mesh grill in the front there and there's like a little mesh part right there as well you know in here there's not speakers right i mean that's that's where the audio comes from but it's not really a speaker per se and so the same side with the button has this multi-function button here. All right, yeah, there are some guides here, right? So first, I'm gonna pair it with my mobile device, which is the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold. So you wanna turn on the headset, uh, press and hold the volume plus button for a couple seconds, and the LED flashes blue. So we're gonna hold it down. So now it should be on, I think. One, two, three. That red power's off. So let's do one, two, three again. And now it's blue. It turned on green for a second, then blue. So I'm gonna put it on my head. Hey, big head. So it's on, and now I just need to open the Bluetooth on my device. So let's go to my Bluetooth, and we're looking for Bluetooth devices. I got a lot, of course. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is scan. In my ear, I'm still not hearing anything. Now it's powered off. Let me turn it back on again. All right, it says, welcome to Shocks. We can turn it on. Now let me scan. It shows the number seven. I wonder if maybe the battery's dead. Okay, you gotta hold it down more. All right, it says pairing in my ear now. The direction suck is all there is to it. There we go, now it shows open combat shock. All right, okay. So now it says it's connected. There's no app or anything. Now let me play a song. Really doesn't sound bad. When you press the volume up on the headset, it goes up here. So that's as loud as it is. It really doesn't sound bad. Not a lot of bass or anything, of course, but so I'm gonna hold this next to the ear and see if you can hear it. I think you can, yeah. Well, I don't hear it right now. It's interesting. But if I put my ear next to it, I can hear it. Here, you can definitely hear it. So it's not, I mean, it's bone conducting, but it still makes some kind of noise. So you can see my phone's playing if I hit that. It does pause it. Video thing's still playing, but you can see the play pause quit. And this does. So that's pretty good. It's very comfortable. I mean, I just put them on, but the goal really is to see if I can wear these all day long, which I assume I could. I don't like that the microphone, like when it just goes up, it's gonna be touching my hair. I wish you could detach the microphone and just use the microphone when you want it, but doesn't think so. I can see the microphone microphone in my periphery. I don't love that. But I got to carry on a conversation and have music playing. It's perfectly fine. So 
if you do it one time, it should pause it. Do it again, it plays. Now if I do a double tap, it should go to the next song. All right, and now if I do three snaps, it should go back. One, two, three, it doesn't seem to work. I and mean, that could be a Spotify thing, but I mean, I would never use that anyhow. That seems too confusing to me to remember how all these different headsets work. The pressing once for play and pause, I do like. Now, I don't know what it does when you're on a phone call. It says press once to answer the call and press once to end the call. I would prefer you can mute the call. Damn. Let me tie it to my computer now. All right, so I am going to record installing this in my PC. I'm not gonna actually show you me plugging a USB port in. I'm just gonna show you what the screen shows and then see what I see on my end. So currently I still have the headphones on connected to my phone. I am now gonna plug the USB device in. You would notice anything. I am gonna now unplug my wired headphones and I'm gonna plug in just this guy. So now I should be able to see it at least. There we go. Now it's bleeping. All right, so my headphone just said device two connected. All right, so so it does show it's not here after shock loop 100. All right, so I'm just gonna watch my own video. I'm just gonna press the button. Okay, it pauses the video. Now I'm press play on my phone to see if it plays music. Oh, so it does. It doesn't play two things at the same time. It kind of turns the audio off on one and then plays the other. I don't uh, love the audio quality. Yes, yeah, so I'm used to using a DAC and having a much higher quality audio. So don't love this. Well, let me hear music on here. All right, I would say passable, but we'll see. Let me try them out tomorrow. All right, today we have the Shox Open Run Pro. These are bone conducting over the ear headphones and I'm not gonna uh, get too detailed about what bone conduction is you probably know that if you're watching this already bone! what I'm gonna just talk about is how these compare also won't be exercising in these <laughs> I already have the open comm you see to have the microphone and then I wanted to see how these compared at first I hated these and now I really like them so well let's take a look at the unboxing first and then we'll get into the little bits there all right so in here bunch of paperwork, user guide. This one does have an app, but the other one doesn't have an app. So let's try that out for a little bit. A couple tidbits right off the bat. The, the OpenCom UC, the ones with the microphone, both of them come in cases, whatever. Well, I think it's very nice. Also kind of tough shell. I mean, I can still squeeze it. I'm very strong though. They'll hold up in a backpack. They're not gonna hold up to a car driving over it. Pretty good overall. So let's take a look in here they fit in there nice so it's kind of a fabric but still i don't know if there's plastic or cardboard behind there or something but it you know i could squeeze it and mash it out of shape if i wanted to but it's going to hold up to basically any pressure now they do come with proprietary charging which i don't love but i do like the charger it's magnetic Fucking magnets. i wonder if they're interchangeable or not i mean they're essentially the same charger i guess they just look a little bit they're shaped slightly different that one's more straight this one's more angled and oddly enough it only goes one way it's not reversible essentially it goes like that but but not like this, so it has to go like this. Are they interchangeable? Yeah, it works. So the one from the UC, that's still the same, it's just a different physical shape, I guess, but should still work. All right, so that's good. So let me explain why I got these. Not doing any exercise, probably. Maybe a stair stepper at best. First got them, I hated them. <laughs> and I thought I was gonna return them right away, but then I came to like them. I just realized they have a certain purpose. You know, you're not buying these for the top tier audio quality, it's more for sort of comfort and then be able to hear, right? So this goes around your ear, like this fun fella has right there. So for me, I work from home, I work in the basement, but I have a child upstairs, dogs upstairs, Stairs, and I just want to hear what's going on. These have worked very well for that. The microphone looks a little goofy. I think it looks kind of goofy on your head. Yeah, like this guy. This guy knows what I'm talking about. I think they purposely chose some of the beard so it kind of blends in. If you don't have a beard, it kind of really highlights on your face. Well, at least on me, when people instantly point out that I had this thing on. And I'm going to do some back to back testing, but my initial test, this sounds better than a webcam, but not better than a professional microphone. And then it says this is seventh generation bone conduction technology. Bone! And this is ninth generation. But as you can tell just looking at it, it almost looks like there's a speaker there, whereas these don't have that. They're just all smooth. They do seem to be the same physical size. I guess it stretched it out with my big head, but at first when I bought these, I found them to be uncomfortable. But again, I think my big head stretched them out some, so I'm hoping these will probably be uncomfortable at first, but my big noggin will probably stretch it out some. Hey, big head. The buttons are basically the same, just slightly different shaped. Same thing with the multi-function button. Now these are the Open Run Pro. This is the OpenCom UC. They just released an OpenCom UC 2, which makes me wonder if they're gonna release an Open Run Pro 2. Oh, another thing. 
the open com you see comes with the USB connector. The Open Run Pro does not. I did buy this separate USB adapter and we'll see if that works with the new one. One thing the existing ones that I have do very well is switch between my phone and the computer. And really watching YouTube videos and everything's fine. Listen to music, the audio quality is a little bit lower. You can't game on them. That's not gonna work too much latency. So I'm just hoping these have slightly better audio quality as far as hearing. I doubt the microphone should be worse. Obviously a boom microphone versus a little hole right here. You would think this one's gonna be better, but we'll find out. I'll do back-to-back -back testing. All right, so let's just do some straight up testing. So I'm gonna turn these on. There's a little power icon there. Hopefully you can see that. And we'll turn it on, see if it has any juice. It turns blue. I'm gonna listen in. And I just flashed blue and red, so it should be ready to scan for Bluetooth. So you can see my open comm is already there. And now let's find these guys. It should be called Open Run Pro. So let's scan again. So that's finding it, I believe. Yeah, Open Run Pro by Shocks. I'm just pairing Bluetooth. All right, so now they are connected. Let me play some music. Right off the bat, they're very comfortable. So, yeah, there's a lot of distortion there. Hmm, that doesn't, well, let me try another song. Hmm, that sounds awful. And let me go back to these. There's slightly more bass. All right, well, that does sound better. So now let me do the Shocks app. It's only for this one device, which seems weird to me, but that's how it works. My dog's going nuts over here. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> So you can control the audio here. You go the settings. It's only two EQ modes. All right. It's already current firmware, so it's not a great sign since I bet they're not brand new. All right. So it seems like the app is mostly useless. I'm going to say, you can see they're bigger. It does sound better with these. Now the question is, how much better is this microphone than these? And I'm going to try it out in real world and we'll come back. All right. Here is the Loop 100, the Bluetooth USB-A adapter for PC from Shox. They have a USB-C version as well, but my work computer it has more USB-A options than C options. So I recently purchased the Open Run Pro Shox headphones. They do not come with the USB connection, but it should work with this guy. I previously have, and still technically have, the OpenCom UC, and they do come with a USB adapter, which is pretty nice. The USB is just gonna be USB Bluetooth, but I'm gonna plug these into a work computer, and sometimes Bluetooth on those kind of devices can be wonky. So I wanna pair this to my work computer with this. It's already paired to my phone via Bluetooth, and that works pretty good. At least with the, the other one, this OpenCom UC, it works very good to bounce from USB-A back to the headphones. So I'm hoping this one works just as well, if not better. All right, so let's take a look-see. Let me crack this bad boy open. One of the smallest unboxings I've ever done. So there is a lot of paperwork. Shox 100 USB-A Bluetooth adapter booklet. And then just the tiniest little USB-A guy here. And basically it's just the Shox logo on a USB with the little physical button, which is the basically the exact same one that came with this one. Now they are having newer models of the OpenCom UC, so they have a different one, so maybe they're gonna upgrade this in the future, who knows. But for now, this is what they offer. This or the USB-C variant, and they should be essentially the same thing. Just one is USB-A and one is USB-C. Now, oddly enough, I am gonna use it with a USB-A, but <laughs> this laptop only has USB-C available, so I gotta use this adapter. If I was using this laptop, of course, the USB-C dongle would be better, but for my use case, I will be using a device with USB-A. At least at the time of purchase, there was no price difference between the A or the C variant. All right, so it says start with the device powered off. It's off, all right, and it says press and hold the volume plus button until the LED indicator flashes red and blue. So we will, so it's flashing red and blue here. And now I will plug the USB adapter into an A port and then it's flashing blue here. Oh yeah, that shows the aftershock. Loop 100 here in my list. That's loud. Okay, yeah, so it's working. You can tell it's playing there. And then if I press the multi-function button, I believe it will pause. It did, it stopped playing there. So you can see it's at 42 seconds. And if I press this again, so now it's playing again. All right, and really that's about it. And now on my phone, I'm gonna tell it to connect to the Open Run Pro as well. Unplug this. So it beeped in my ear when I unplugged that. All right, let's try it the other way. Let's power this back off. Turn red when it goes off. Now we'll turn it back on. So now it's on. I'm gonna turn it back to the Bluetooth connection. Maybe I do this one first. Now let's hold it down until it starts flashing again. So now it's flashing. So I'm gonna connect it back to the app on the Open Run Pros. And let's go back to this app. Now it does some. I turn multi point pairing on. There we go. So when I turn on multiple pairing, now it shows the shock loop. So let me plug that in and I'll turn this back. All right, so now we have our two devices, right? You can see it pairs both to my phone and to the Aftershocks loop. So now I should be able to play this. So now you can hear it's playing. And now let me hit play on here. Now you can hear it in my ear. 
and let me hit play on this. Okay, so maybe it doesn't do it so seamlessly. So now they're both paused. Let me play this one. All right, so that worked. Some foul language there. And now we'll play this one. Okay, so it does work pretty seamlessly like that. So that's pretty good. Let me try them out for a little bit and I'll give you some thoughts on them. All right, so this is a Zoom recording, so most realistic version of how I would use this. I don't normally show myself on camera. Obviously too handsome to be on camera. From TV. You know, I have a YouTube channel course, but I am a regular businessman. I do a lot of remote calls. So I've got this Razer chair. I'm using a Logitech Brio camera. Audio currently is coming from this headset. And also this is like a little backup audio recorder. So this should be the standard quality that I would have on a YouTube video. And then this would be what it sounds like from this headset. So a couple of things to notice. One, you know, like, like this is not really that noticeable, right? But then if you turn my head and I flop around on camera and you know I fidget around on camera a lot so I'm fidgety. well like this you can see the microphone of course you know it's much more discreet than like a whole over the head headset but the first day I started using this everyone made comments on it you know dumb jokes like you know oh, you're a telemarketer now right oh, look at that headset you know and again by the second day or third day it was gone but if that's something you worry about like people will absolutely notice that you have this thing here so the audio right now is recording from here right so let's compare this audio to the microphone that's built in to the Logitech Brio. So now I'm going to change the audio on the Zoom meeting to the Logitech Brio, the microphone that's built into the Brio, which I did use for quite some time before buying this. The biggest concern to buy this, of course, was just the freeing of the headphones, right? I mentioned I have dogs and they're annoying and I gotta check on them a lot. I gotta make coffee a lot. So, you know, I was using these wired headphones for calls but obviously being wireless is a lot better. I didn't want my whole ear blocked, right? Obviously that's the point of these, so I can hear the mutts or the children or what have you, right? So a couple things with this. Let me get off the Logitech mic and I'll go back to the Aftershocks. Now it should be back on this microphone. One, it does not mute when you go up, but you also, the microphone is very good at hearing what is in the, you know, near vicinity. So if I move the microphone up, you're not gonna be able to hear what I say. Uh, Tony sucks. Right. So you most likely did not hear that. That's not a mute, right? If I yell, you know, if I yell at a dog or a kid or speak very loudly, you will be able to hear it, right? So Tony sucks. Do not subscribe to Mac IT. Subscribe to Five. You probably heard some of that. It'd be nice if you pushed it up to mute, but it doesn't. Here's another thing. A lot of the promotions I saw mentioned that they like this because you can get it out of the way if you're not using it. That apparently is made for people with small heads. As you can tell, I have a very large cranium full of cranium, of course, and it does not go all the way up. See, it is <laughs> my head. Hey, big head. And like it can't, it gets lost in my hair essentially, but you can definitely feel it pressing against my head. That's like, that's not comfortable at all. Putting up here is no problem. Putting it back here is also no problem. Another key, you know, in case you're wondering, drinking coffee. I mean, you'll hear it probably, but like, uh, so I don't know if you heard me slurping. This is water, not coffee, but I do drink coffee all day long. So this is a concern for me and the microphone or not, but you know, obviously the microphone doesn't hit the cup or anything like that. But if I pay it up, you probably can't hear which I do like. Maybe you'll hear me coughing. I don't know. Now, this microphone, I believe, sounds better than the Logitech Brio. But if we use an actual USB microphone, like the Rode NT USB Mini. So now we're on this microphone. So the problem with this is, of course, if you have it on your desk, it still works. Like you can still hear me. It's coming from the Rode now instead of this guy. But it probably sounds more away. And of course, my phone is on the desk. So we hear my phone bouncing around or me typing on the keyboard. Like dogs barking. And I can hear that because my ears aren't covered. If I had noise canceling headphones in, I wouldn't have heard the dog being annoying potentially. So the road, I'm assuming it's gonna sound better. I'll be able to listen back in. To get it to sound properly, it should be within a couple inches of your mouth. So that means you'd have to have it on like a microphone arm. And so if the visual of this bothers you, then does the visual of a microphone arm and this thing sticking right here in your video bother you as well, right? If you just want the best audio quality, obviously one of these microphones are gonna be better than you know this microphone or clearly the Logitech microphone. Any microphone will sound better than the microphone that's built into your laptop. If you're using that or if you're using AirPods or something like that, those all sound like trash. But like as far as professional business calls, these are more than acceptable. But this I think sounds better than this and then probably the Rode sounds the best. I've had these for a while, my return window's coming up. So I gotta decide if I'm keeping these or the ones without the microphone. Actually, right, so let me switch out to these, no wires. So I'm gonna put the dongle back in. So that's in, I gotta power these back on. Now I'm gonna switch the zoom audio from the Rode microphone to these. It's gonna be pretty drastic. So now the microphone should be these guys. So these obviously 
you can't even tell. Like, like if I really point it out, yeah, but if I'm talking straight on, it's really hard to even tell I'm wearing anything. It looks like either I have some wild sideburns or you can sort of tell something's going on, but like over a zoom camera and a little square, these are really not noticeable at all, hardly. And they're very comfortable, right? There's no concern here. Obviously there's no concern about drinking coffee. I will say wearing this shirt with the, you know, like this is a normal polo shirt. If I had a button up shirt, it'd be about the same, but like a pullover like this, this part does bump a little wire in the back occasionally. Not enough, it just depends on like if I'm like this, you know, depending how I'm moving in your head, and that shape will obviously change that drastically. I never use this little light over here on a zoom call. So yeah, it just depends if you want the microphone or not. I will say from my experience, so originally I had these with the uh, boom arm microphone, right? At first they were kind of tight because I have a big head. Hey, big head, but they did stretch out eventually and they feel fine now. Now it doesn't really bother me, but the first day or so I wore them, I was like, wow, these are not meant for big head people which I am a member of Big Head People. Big head. They don't feel the same as having earbuds in your ear all day long. Like, you know, there's a certain feeling to having something jammed in your ear hole all day long. And these don't feel like that. But if you're listening to music all day or talking all day, it still feels like something's going on in your head. It doesn't feel like the same as just not having headphones on all day, right? So a different feel, but it's not like fatigue is what they call it, you know, ear fatigue from having buds in all day. But I don't think it's like that at all. It feels perfectly fine, but it's still it's just odd. It's hard to describe. So recently I had these with the microphone. I didn't love how it looked here and I didn't love people asking me if I was a telemarketer all day. <laughs> it was just annoying, right? But then they get one away, so that's fine. But, and again, since I have other microphones, I really didn't need this microphone. I thought the Logitech Brio was better than it was. I wouldn't until I played them back to back that I realized Logitech, Logitech Brio is fine, but it's not as good as, you know, this one or this one, of course. So I bought these just thinking these, they say they're seventh gen bone conducting technology. <laughs> And these, they say they're ninth gen bone conducting technology. I didn't really know what that meant, obviously. I assume the newer ones would be better. And they are slightly physically larger. So I bought these thinking it would be a huge increase in audio quality listening, assuming it would be a huge decrease in microphone quality from talking, right? Noticeable difference both ways, right? It is noticeably better listening to music with these, and it's noticeably better talking into this one. But it's not drastic on either side. Like the drastic change from the Logitech Brio to this is way more drastic than the change from this to this. I think it ultimately comes down to personal preference, right? If you're running and jogging all day long, then sure, these make more sense. I'm not doing any of that, but I do love these now. At first I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna keep them, but now I'm definitely keeping one of them. I just don't know which one. I bought these with my own money, right? It wasn't no review sample. No one sent these to me. So the question is, do I want the one with the microphone on it or do I want these? And yes, this is a better sound, but I also don't want a microphone arm sitting here. I used to have it just sitting on my desk, but then people hear you typing, your phone buzzing on the desk. And that's annoying to people on the other end. Just for reference, let's switch to this one real quick. All right, so here we are back on this one. So it's, you can tell the audio quality should be a lot better than what's coming out of these. And then every once in a while we'll be switching back to the Sony microphone, which I think is, sounds pretty good. But the Sony, this one doesn't work with the computer. So it just records local, like a dictaphone type thing. So again, I don't really love this being the way again. So I'm going back to these. Another benefit for these is that, as you may have noticed in the video, I tend to just wiggle and, uh, I don't know, fidget, I guess is the right word, right? So I like adjust myself in my seat. I lean forward. I think about things. Hmm. I drink a lot of coffee and if you have a static microphone like the Logitech Brio or this guy on an arm then your voice is getting further and around and like that with something like this or obviously more so this the microphone should be in the same position and close to your mouth so you can still hear like you know if I wanted to lean back in my chair or slouch slouch down drink my coffee the audio should still be fairly the same right or if I'm scooting up still the same quality one odd little point that does stick in my brain this one obviously you can't move the arm to get the audio away from it so like this one you could put the microphone up and then you can't hear it as well and a lot of times i do i'll turn the camera off i'll be on a zoom call and i'll go upstairs make a new cup of coffee something like that i do leave it muted on the computer but there's always like the worry like oh what if i forgot to mute it and i hope people don't hear me making coffee or coughing or shouting that dog through these microphones but this one i know if i put it up and kind of bury it in my hair they may hear an annoying sound they go a little or something like that, but like, they're not going to hear me yelling at dogs or whatever, most likely. And so again, I will say the audio quality is much better listening to music on here. I don't know much better. Noticeably better. None of them will come close to any of the earbuds I have, like these wired earbuds or like the Samsung Beans, which are my preferred earbuds or these, you know, Logitech G Fits, which are okay -ish. You know, it's more about the freedom of your ear and being able to hear things around you and there's just the general comfort, right? I can wear these all day long. It doesn't bother me. I wear, I do wear them pretty much all day long, right? Switch back to the Logitech Brio. So now the microphone 
should be up here. All right, so now I'm going to change the microphone back to this guy right here. So yeah, I turned on this light over here, which I don't have during the daytime, but this is the evening, so you can see it more in this video now. It's a little more noticeable. So again, it still doesn't look the same as having, you know, like a big full-on gaming headset on, but it is noticeable. Really, the best thing about these, far and away better than any other dual connection device I have, like these Logitech G Fits, they have a USB dongle as well for the computer, and then it should be Bluetooth for the phone, and then I had a pair of razors that I sent back that also did the same thing. So if the USB dongle is connected to the computer, and say I'm watching a YouTube video or something like that, and then this my cell phone rings, like the, that switch is so seamless with these both ones, the OpenCom UC or the Open Run Pro, they both just work seamlessly. Like the Shox has that down pat. Like there's, it's so good at doing that. Even switching just between like a YouTube video on the computer and then just playing music on my phone or like a Twitter video or something like that. It switches back and forth so well and it does it way better than any other headset or earbuds I have at this point. So big plus there. So again, as I mentioned, the speaker audio quality on this is lower than a normal earbud or a normal headphone and slightly lower than the, you know, the non microphone ones. All right, because these are a bigger earbud, right? Not an earbud, but you know what I'm saying. But like if you're watching people talking, you know, if it's on a call like this or if it's on YouTube, you're just, like I watched a mobile tech reviews video and it sounds perfectly normal. It's completely fine. But like prime example today, I was listening to, I did some work, I had meetings using this headset here. And then I was having music in the background. I played the LL Cool J song, New Love, great song. And I wanted to switch just to check, because I was like, oh, these are pretty good actually. So then I turned these off, put these on, and I could instantly notice that these were better. But I would also instantly notice that these are better if I put these in. The USB dongle, so these guys, so when you have one of these connected, there's a little blue light on there and it flashes almost incessantly. Like on my desktop, it's turned around, I don't see it, but on my work laptop that is on my desk, I'm gonna have to move it because you see that light blinking all the time and it's pretty annoying. This is probably just me, but I have these wired earbuds in here as well. And my keyboard has a volume wheel. So with these plugged in, the volume on the keyboard doesn't always work for the volume on these. I had to like switch, hit the volume button on the computer and choose which audio source I'm adjusting the volume on, which is fine. I mean, it's, I understand why it's doing that. I'd have to unplug my headphones or choose one to be the primary audio. But if you're switching headphones constantly, that's kind of a nuisance you may notice with these. For these Open Road Pros, I even saw a review on Amazon, you know, me having a big head and it said, these are great for people with smaller heads, which is pretty funny. Hey, big head. So yeah, that's it. I'm actually gonna use this video of this recording of me to determine if I'm keeping these or if I'm keeping these. I don't need both of them, of course. I'm gonna choose one, stick with it. Each time I wear one, I think that's what I'm choosing. Like right now, this seems fine to me, but like, I know I already have this microphone. I already have that microphone. I have another USB microphone over here too, right? There's no reason to use this microphone for me. But another caveat is, if you're taking a phone call, this microphone's gonna be way better, right? So if someone calls me on my cell phone while I have these on, I might have a conversation with them. I might sound a lot better using this one than obviously this one or any other headphone, right? And you can't really, I mean, it's not logical to connect one of these to your phone for a phone call, right? But these will work great for phone calls if you take a lot of phone calls on your actual phone. But as far as like just using them as headphones, right? The audio quality and like just using them as a businessman, I very much like either one of these. They're pretty great. This really comes down to personal preference if you like the microphone or if you have another microphone option because again the audio quality of the microphone is slightly better than these and the sound audio quality of music or talking is going to be slightly better on these than on the UCs right so like it not enough to make a drastic change and then price wise when you add in the USB dongle at least for me they're they're really within each other like when I paid these UC ones come with the USB dongle and they were $200 I bought the, these for $179 and I had to pay $50 for the USB dongle so these are a little bit more expensive total but now I also saw these go on sale for 150 at one point but I missed the sale so sale at 150 and the 50 for the dongle would have been basically the same price so again it's just the personal preface type thing do you want this microphone do you have other microphone options so if you're only worried about how you sound on the phone and you want to use only one headset you don't want to have a bunch of different microphones and stuff like that then this one's going to be the better one of course and I don't know that you're losing much by going keeping these over this one but if you have no use for this microphone like me where I have three or four other microphones available to me probably it makes more sense to keep these. This never bothers me. Like it never gets my way. Like I don't bump the microphone by accident. Like if I had a microphone arm here, I would bump that by accident. Like I would probably stand up and bump into it or just, I don't know. It just seems, I don't know that I want a microphone arm here. I might still do it. I don't know, I haven't decided. But again, so these sound 
pretty good. If you just want to have all in on one thing, it's probably these are the way to go. If you're gonna have a separate microphone, then these are pretty great for business as well. You know, assuming you don't have speakers and things like that, but I don't want speakers, it makes the dogs bark. Plus you can hear other people, like I don't like it as a businessman when like you hear people stuff, like when they get notifications from other messages and they have speakers and then it comes to the microphone with these. When you use headphones, it doesn't come through the microphone like that. So anyhow, food for thought. So that's probably enough on the microphones. I'll have some more thoughts. I'll let you know what my decision is, which one I'm keeping, but this is just an example of what the audio quality sounds like on these. All right, this is with me using the Aftershocks or Shocks UC Pro. And now I'm going to switch my audio to the Shure MB51. And so now we're using this one, holding it in my hand, of course, and further away. And then I'll put it on the desk. Uh, Tony sucks. Oh, no. Don't subscribe to Max.t. Subscribe to 512. And now let me put it back here. And then I will once again change it back to the Shocks guys. And I will once again say uh, Tony sucks. Don't subscribe to Mash IT. Grab the 512. Now let's go to Logitech Brio. And now the audio should be coming from the Brio. Once again, Tony sucks. Don't subscribe to Mash IT. Grab the 512. And then let's go back to the Short MB51. I think probably sounds better than the road that I was obsessed with before. Physically larger. Tony sucks. Don't subscribe to Mash IT. I just listened to the other video I just made, and then I was surprised to hear that these kind of sound almost as good as the Rode, but this is the one I had for the longest time, so I wanted to see how this one goes. Let's check it out. And obviously, there's no question that this microphone sounds better than uh, the guys here, right? All right, thanks. All right, so oddly enough, I watched my own video, the Zoom recordings, and then made my decision. So as I kind of noted in those videos, the audio quality of this mic is much better than the mic on the Open Run Pro, which makes sense. And the audio quality of the music or whatever audio you listen to is slightly better on Open Run Pro. But again, not as much difference as you would think. In my personal opinion, I think the delta between the microphones is bigger than the gap between the audio quality of the earpieces. So this microphone is more better than this microphone, much more better -er, than this microphone, more so than these speakers are better than these speakers, right? So these are more comfortable. After a while, it goes away, but when I first put these on, it does feel like a little pressure on the side with the microphone, I guess because it's heavier or something, I don't know, but all day comfort wear, these are better, obviously, but they're both way better than any kind of over there headphones. Ultimately, it came down to the microphone, right? So I thought the microphone sounded pretty good, really not much worse, if any bit worse at all than the microphone on my USB microphones. So just for the ease of use, I found that better. And I do take a decent amount of phone calls from my actual phone, not the computer. So the USB microphone wouldn't come into place. Having this paired to my phone makes those microphone calls sound much better. So I like that. I like that. Particularly the day I was really trying to make my decision. I'm past my return window on this one already, so I'm definitely keeping it. Still in my return window from this, I am going to return it. But yeah, the day I was pretty sure I was going to use this, and then that day I had a lot of actual phone calls from my phone, as opposed to like a Zoom call from the computer. And I was glad to have this microphone, I thought all my calls went well, and that was a good sign. Another interesting fact, when you're using this microphone, it's a noise-canceling microphone. I don't know if this one does it or not, but I know from this one, as I said, I have dogs that bark are annoying. I was on a meeting and someone noted that how good this microphone was because when I was not talking, the dogs were barking upstairs. And while I was not talking, they wouldn't hear the dogs barking. But only when I spoke and the microphone came on to catch my voice, it would catch the dogs barking. So whenever I wasn't talking, it sounded like the dogs weren't barking on the other guy's end. Right, so very interesting. So I mean, it also I think is pretty good about not catching, like on the video I was snapping, it didn't hear that. It doesn't hear me typing or just, you know, rolling around squeaking in my chair. One time I was on a Zoom call with uh, my friend Dave from Mash IT. There was a noise that got up on his microphone. So I don't know what he uses, but we'll play a clip and you can see the noise that his microphone caught. Hi, this is David at Mash IT. That was pretty loud, so I don't know that this one probably would have not caught that, but hopefully it wouldn't. Another odd thing, Dave always, every time I talk to him, he goes, hi, it's Dave from Mash IT. Like, I've been talking to this guy for a year and every time. Hi, this is David. Every single time. Hi, it's Dave from Mash IT. I don't know, it's weird. Hi, this is David at Mash IT. So yeah, handful of notes, right? If you're listening to audio, they're both fine, right? They're not gonna sound as good as regular headphones. If you're watching a YouTube video, there will be some latency. You can't game on either one of these. There's, there's no prayer of that happening, right? It's just the latency would be terrible. The latency on a YouTube video can get weird. Sometimes the mouse don't line up right and it feels a little wonky. But as far as just listening to the general music in the background, these are great. There's no problem with that. And again, they're comfortable. I wear them all day long, 12 hours a day sometimes. No problem whatsoever. And I've had no problems with battery, right? So they said they should last 16 hours, I believe. And I haven't gone quite 16 hours, but I have no problems with batteries. The UC came with this little USB guy and the Open Run Pro did not. 
not, I had to buy the separate USC, but it worked almost exactly the same. I don't think there's any difference between these two devices. The USB ones, this one's just prepared. If you got these that didn't have it, then if you buy one separately, it should work fine. Or if you have one of these, you can get the USB again and it should work fine as well. I will say there is a YouTuber headset advisor and he has a video on the OpenCom UC2 and they've moved the microphone to this side and made a couple minor changes. And the biggest change is they have a physical button to mute the microphone. And I actually don't want that because I don't want to be a double mute person. Like if you're on a lot of Zoom calls, there's lots of people that double mute themselves. So they'll have a physical mute on their microphone and they'll have a mute on their software. And so they unmute themselves on the software. They start talking, they're still muted and they look silly. Hey, I don't want to be that guy. I'm a businessman. I want to look professional at all times. Still get comments. Well, that's kind of dried up, I guess, but you will get comments, like I said, telemarketing, all that stuff. But tons of people wear headsets with the microphone on. But as far as convenience, Microphone quality. I think these can't be beat comfort wise. They can't really be beat. And I'm, you know, I'm very impressed with the microphone. And like I said, they are so seamless to switch from the computer to the phone. And like if I'm on the computer watching a YouTube video and someone calls me on my phone, it switches right up. Or if I'm just pausing it and I'm listening to music on the computer and then I want to listen to music on my phone, it switches back just fine. Or like if I'm watching just like a Twitter video real quick, switches seamlessly, no problem. It's been great about that. This battery's almost dead and this battery's still full. Oh, maybe I didn't replace it. You know, charging cases. This one's a little bit bulky. I do like how this one's a little bit slimmer and I feel like you could still make this one slimmer but I don't know if it adds good protection it's fine so anyhow I like these they're good if your goal is comfort and exercise I guess these are probably the way to go but if you're not talking to anyone for a considerable amount of time then these are probably the way to go my money my choice I'm choosing this one and I'm gonna return this guy we'll be done with the open run pros at this point and then I may add some follow-up to this if I can think of some things all right both of them get the big thumbs up I'm a big fan of both these products at this point it's just natural for me to put these on every day and it doesn't I mean I've been using them for over a month and it just feels normal walking here turn them on put them on ready to go my only like real complaint no not even a real complaint really like if you get too far out of the range of course it will drop range and then when it drop range it beeps and my coffee maker upstairs is just out of range and i drink a lot of coffee so i'll be up there getting a new cup of coffee and it beeps in my ear that i'm out of range and then i gotta like walk five feet back in or if i'm eating lunch at the kitchen table that's really on the cusp so sometimes i'll be eating lunch and it will disconnect and then reconnect and disconnect and reconnect which is not cool but if i move over i know where to sit now where it connects but if i'm on the edge of the table where it disconnects and that can be annoying but it's very nice to have these on zoom call ends i walk upstairs make a snack sandwich cup of coffee whatever and i can just start playing music from my phone or a youtube video from my phone and they switch seamlessly and that's pretty great so big thumbs up all right thanks